Okay, so after the success of our last success of our last ice cream expedition, I thought I'd try it again. But this time I'd get a little bit more into the fall spirit. Pumpkin spice cream. So we used the stash decaf pumpkin spice, and then the Harney and Sons tea pumpkin spice, and a little bit of hot cinnamon spice to give it a little bit more punch. Now, where did you get the recipe that you adapted? It's right here. The original recipe was called vanilla custard ice cream. And the original recipe, I cut that in half, and then I cut it in half again. And the reason that I knew how to do that was because my math teacher gave us a project to do in which we had to find a recipe and have it and show the original. So thank you, Mrs. Hartnett. So uh, this book, I believe, is out of print, but we'll find the current edition and link it if we can down below. And we always this, try to link things. This recipe is by Margaret Gage in Roseboom, New York. Thank you, Margaret. So... You, the original recipe says you need two cups milk, three fourths cup of sugar, one eighth teaspoon salt, two eggs beaten, two cups heavy whipping cream, and two tablespoons of vanilla extract. And I went ahead and told you the original so that you can adapt it if you want to make this yourself. So we didn't have both milk and whipping cream, so we just used whipping cream for both the milk. We added and the a cream. little bit of milk to the whipping cream and brewed the tea in it so that it, we wouldn't get that. We, we didn't have any milk. Not milk, but we made the cream a milk texture by adding some water and brewing the tea in it so that we didn't have that iciness that we had last time. So basically... And we didn't half the egg, so there's twice as much egg. Basically, it you make custard and then you add extra cream and you freeze it and you get this. And so. if we really like it, we may do it with Lapsang Sushong. So... Let's try it. Let's find out. Hang on. It's got a serious hard texture. She's going to go warm. Her ice cream scoop. My grandmother actually taught me to do this because she used to work in a cafeteria back in like the 90s-ish when they had good food. Ish. Look how nicely that actually looks like a scoop of ice cream. Sometimes your homemade ice creams don't really look like the store-bought stuff, but this does. And then I'm giving Daddy some. He won't be trying it on camera, but if he says anything interesting, we'll tell you. And this is only a three-scoop recipe when you yeah. fourth it, but we expected that, so. Because we didn't want a whole bunch of it. No, in case we didn't like it. Oh, also, uh, there's monk fruit in it, right? Yeah. There's some sugar in it. Which is another reason I don't want a whole bunch of it. Okay, so here's Daddy's. When you're making ice cream, you have to make it more flavorful because the actual coldness of it takes out some flavor. All right. So let's see how we did here. So the, um, the texture is very nice. and Yeah, like this ice is cream. ice cream texture. The smell is highly vanilla because all of these have vanilla, cinnamon kind of things. And then she put vanilla in it, too. Okay. It reminds me of butter pecan with a lot of vanilla. But And without the pecans, of course. And without the pecans. But ah. with this recipe, you could make butter pecan ice cream, though. Yeah, if you stuck pecans in here, that would be pretty tasty. Really good. I think if we did it again, we might leave out the vanilla because we've got so much tea in it. And that what and she did, add some more tea actually, like add more tea leaves and tea bags into the cream. What she did was treat the cream as if it was water and brewed because it has a custard base section, and so she just put the tea leaves into the custard section and then uh, strained out the leaves after brewing the cream as if it was water and this is which made the custard this, this is, is very rich. good um i would definitely do pecans if i ate pecans oh yeah so we'll put the recipe as we did it down below 
Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to do this, I would recommend adding some pecans to this, but keeping the tea in there because the tea makes it almost pecani on its own. Mm-hmm. Because um, this pumpkin spice tea from Harney, it really, it kind of always reminded me of pecan pie anyway. Or pumpkin, somewhere between pumpkin pie and pecan pie. Oh, there is some pumpkin pie in that one. Mm-hmm. So if you want to have ice cream instead of pie at Thanksgiving, you might do this. Mm-hmm. Um, Let us know if you did. Very rich. So how much tea did you get in there? Well, about a serving of this one and a serving of this one, which is typical for so your... A, a taste, teaspoon of each? About, and then one of these. And there was a total of one cup of cream? So mm-hmm. basically triple brewed. Yeah. So we like playing with our food, don't we? Mm-hmm. And I would follow this recipe instead of the other one and use the cream as your tea instead of water because this is not icy at all. No. Nope. So until we see you again. Make sure to make time for tea in a good book and tea ice cream because it's pretty good. Pretty rich.